imagine a world where the concept of childhood as we know it has no meaning. Imagine a world where children support their parents, where food and survival are the most important things, where work is just another part of growing up. This is Dhaka, Bangladesh. To learn more about the lives of working children, we began to film several of them and document their stories over a period of six years. One of these children was a boy named Idris. This is a film about his childhood, a different kind of childhood. This is a special school for working children where Idris used to study. We brought some of our early footage of Idris and other working children to show his old teacher and her new students. Like Idris, many of the other children used to work in garments factories stitching clothes for export. After an international campaign against child labor in the factories, they lost their jobs and were sent to this school. They listened intently as Idris described his struggle to continue his education. We also were curious to know Idris's whereabouts. After he dropped out of school, we'd lost contact with him. Idris was now a driver of a public transport vehicle known as a Tempo. Like other Tempo drivers, Idris had a helper, Joshim. Despite being underage, Idris was determined to earn his living as a tempo driver by any means. I'm a safe court of license in Lega, ordinal license in Nipai, Terabic Sardin, a Birava, Totomar Bosch, and Taitara de Darin Sudai Tessi. So it is a Timul Berry Tagata, Monogona Bosch. 
Là. At 13, he was in a hurry to grow up. But we remembered another Ikris who had other dreams. Three years earlier, we'd met Idris in the school for ex-garment workers. Under a special program negotiated by UNICEF, he was receiving a small stipend of $6 a month to stay in school. He told us about his dream of education. <laughs> In spite of the school program's goal of getting children out of work and into school, Idris was still working. I Although it was hard work, for Idris it was much better than some other kinds of work. Just one year later, a small change in the school schedule from afternoon to morning changed his life. To continue studying, he had to give up his morning fish market job. So he entered the profession he most feared, tempo helping. It was a difficult time for Idris. After working late at night, he had to get up early in the morning for school. But he was determined to continue his education. After school, Idris started his tempo shift. He took over from his half-brother, Sohel, who had left their village to join Idris in the city. Sohel did the morning shift while Idris was in school. Late at night, 
Idris returned to the small veranda that he and Sohel rented for $10 a month. Together, they earned barely enough for the rent and food. Before bed, Idris tried to pass on his day's lessons to Sohel, who had never had a chance to go to school. After a while, the long days and late nights began to take their toll on Idris. It was getting harder and harder to hold on to his dream of education. He started to dream new dreams. I was born আমি দেখতাছি তো আবার উত্তর দিকে কেবল টাকা কাজ করতেছে কেবল এগো ভবিষ্যৎ আমরা তো তার সাথে থাকি আমি ঠিক দেখি আমরা আমি বড়লে শব্দ করি যে যে যেমনে টাকা আবার উত্তর দিকে কাজ করে সেমনে আমি এই টাকাগুলো কাজ করতে সব মন গাড়ি চালাইতে পারলে আবার যদি একটা গাড়ি থাকে না আবার বাস করে যাবে ছোটবেলা যত কষ্ট করতে বড়লে আল্লাহ যদি একদিন সুখে থাকি Eventually, he dropped out of school to do tempo work full-time. And he got his dream.
with Idris, we visited a family of singing children whose lives we had also been documenting. For years, they had supported themselves on the street with their music. Now they were running a tea stall. As difficult as life was for working children like Idris and the singing kids, for girls on the street, it was often much worse. For several years, we had followed a girl named Shuli, who sold flowers on this corner while going to school. Today, we found two of her cousins working there.
The flower girl's lives were full of hazards. Harassment, pollution, and prostitution. We were glad to hear that Shuli had escaped the streets and was now in school full time. Three years before, she had told us about her life as a flower seller. For thousands of young women in the city, garments factories provided new opportunities for employment. We visited the factory where Idris had once worked. It was more than five years since he'd lost his garments factory job for being underage. I thought to In the same fish market where Idris used to work, he started the day early with his temple helper, Joshim. Right. 
On this morning, they were earning extra money by transporting fish to other nearby markets. The annual Muslim Eid festival was fast approaching, and with it, the need to save money. In one of the busy markets of Dhaka, Idris and Joshim shopped for presents for their family members in the village. Idris and Joshim worked late into the night, hoping to save a little extra money before the holiday. Just before Eid, Idris went to his mother's house after a gap of two years. Ashil. His parents separated when he was little, and his relationship with his mother was strained. His brother Sohel was now living with their mother again. While Idris was visiting his mother, Joshim spent the day fixing their temple at a workshop. Though he had very little formal education, he had natural talent as a mechanic. That 
night, the night before Eid, Joshim worked late with another driver. The driver was new, and he made a wrong turn. Luckily, Joshim survived, this time. Hearing the news of the accident, Joshim's father rushed to Dhaka to see his son. Despite his injuries, Joshim insisted on going home to the village for Eid. Idris also went to his village home to visit his father. After Joshim's accident, we began to question our role as observers in the drama of these children's lives. We went to see the singing children again, who had recently appeared on television in one of our productions. <laughs> I'm at the time 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 I'm at
আমার কোচমা দুই মাস পরে একবার এল কিন্তু আমাকে খুঁজ কতরা দিল্লি নিলেন না যদি আমাদেরকে দিল্লি নি দেখতে না এসে মাঝে মাঝে দেখতে তো সেটা সম্ভব না যে আমার কাম আছে না হ্যাঁ আমার কাম আছে নাকি কি আমার কাজ কাজ নাই কাজ কাজ চলে ওর হাতে তো তুই হাতে দিবি चलाई <laughs> मानुष कोई खाली <laughs> 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 टुकई After Idris returned from his holidays in the village, he began to rethink his city life. He was becoming increasingly frustrated. and his dream of the tempo driver's life was shaken when his vehicle met with an accident idris brought his tempo to a repair shop where joshim was now working full time joshim ne kobe te asha ki korte ek ma ek ma bujhen bujhen to dhore nai naki na tin mas por dhore tin mas मालिक दादाजी चिकित्सा चिकित्सा कर 
দুই তিনবার উপরে উপরে অ্যাক্সিডেন্ট করছে অন আমার আর গাড়ি চালাই না নিয়ে তুই গাড়ি যদি চালাইলে কোন দিন মরে যাবে মরে আস্তে আস্তে কেন এটা বাড়ি যা সুন্দর করে কাজ করি গাড়ি করে চালাই না আমার সব নিতে আছে আমার ঢাকা সরা থাকি মনে তো না Some weeks later we went to find Idris at his home. He had moved to his relative's house. Idris ase na ki basa? Idris amar bhai to. Tai. Asma gala ke thake ki kono lab. Pura tin char mas jere ar abostha khara. Tin char mas jere ke amar ma amar phan dite parteche na. Abar o ar ar cholche. Eta kaste dekhen as koto din jere জ্বর এক মাস বের আমার জ্বর সন্ধ্যার পর তো এরকম জ্বর আছে At the age of 14, Idris was becoming an old man before our very eyes. We remembered the young boy we had known and so many other children. Their strength, their freshness, their dreams. ছোট ছিলাম মনে করছিলাম 
আগে কি আছিলাম আগামী কি 